Hey, what's going on everyone? Dan here from Nine Malls and today I'm going to review the Michael Graves Design 12 Cup Programmable Coffee Maker. So this is a uniquely designed coffee maker with rounded corners and uh, it was actually reviewed by Good Housekeeping and it got th uh, three and a half stars out of five and uh, you can control it, make coffee up to 24 hours in advance. Uh, some of the pros Quick brew time, brewed coffee is very hot, kept uh, coffee warm for two hours, and this is from Good Housekeeping in their tests. Controls are easy to use, shuts off automatically, and the cons, so it doesn't, br uh, doesn't brew at optimal temperature for good uh, producing, good. it doesn't brew for good tasting coffee at the optimal temperature, must be pulled out from under cabinet to fill with water and ground coffee, which is not really a big deal. I've, I've owned coffee makers and they're mostly like that. Craft is not dishwasher safe. Uh, that might be something, but not not really. Uh, permanent st uh, staining on filter. So I think the biggest thing is it doesn't brew at an optimal temperature. Let's see if that's the case. I'm going to compare it with a coffee maker that I bought earlier this year, and I'm I reviewed it on this channel. It's the Hamilton Beach. So I'm going to do a little taste test to see which one I like better. And so on to the review, and let's test out the Michael Graves design. 12 cup programmable coffee maker. So I'm going to open this up right now. And here we go. And there it is. It's a nicely designed, that's what caught my eye. That's stainless steel accents. This isn't a completely stainless steel coffee maker. I mean, look at that. It's orange on the inside. It looks really, really cool. Let me get that in focus. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. So it looks really cool. It's orange inside. It's kind of a rubberized material or interior on that. You got the craft, which is, it says it's not dishwasher safe, but it feels like a standard carafe. So, and then you just, let's see if you can open it up. Open it up here. You have the Let's see, I'll zoom out on that. All right, so you have the basket on top and then water goes here. So it looks, you know, compared to my Hamilton Beach, just right off the bat, it looks better quality. It looks nicer. I like the design a lot, lot better. This thing looks pretty cool just sitting there on the, the counter right here. So I'm going to clean it out, plug it in, give it a taste test. Uh, one thing that coffee makers, they sometimes leave a really bad taste you get that plastic taste. That's one thing to watch for. Also, yeah, like the brew temperature, does it actually brew hot enough? Um, that's one thing, that's another thing. And uh, let's try it out, see how it tastes. All right, so there's the coffee maker. I'm just cleaning it out, running some water through it first. But the Michael Graves coffee maker looks really, really cool. It's pretty striking design. I really like the look of this. It's kind of unlike any, th any coffee maker I've seen, actually. And then you can see in the background, there is the Hamilton Beach. It's a nice coffee maker. It's pretty standard. Um, one thing is this is giant. This is a giant machine. Uh, maybe that will make the coffee taste better. It's a lot bigger than the Hamilton Beach, so you gotta have some counter space for it. But, you know, its size does make a statement. So one thing I am noticing is there's a lot of steam coming up. You can see right here, and it's coming up on the clock. All right, so here we go. We have the Michael Graves right here, and it's going to go in this cup. And then we have the Hamilton Beach right here, and it goes in this cup. So just right off the bat, um, I'm smelling a lot of that really acidic plastic smell in my kitchen right now. And I noticed that with a, uh, I got a, a coffee maker from Costco and it had the same issue. So I, I ran like 12 cycles of, of hot water through I baking soda, vinegar, everything I could think of to clean it out, washed it. Uh, nothing got that smell out of the coffee. So that's one thing to watch for is sometimes the plastic is just terrible and makes undrinkable coffee. All right, so this is why I got the Hamilton Beach. It didn't have that issue. All right, let's try the Hamilton Beach first. I like the coffee that comes out of this. And let me, here we go, taste test. And it's very good. It's very good. So I'm, I'm used to that. I know what the coffee tastes like, and it's good. So let's see if Michael Graves is the same bean, same amount. Um, let's see if the Michael Graves makes it better. See if it makes better coffee. All right, I'm kind of nervous, but here we go. 
Michael Graves coffee machine taste test first try and you know what it's not bad let me try the try the Hamilton Beach again I actually might want to say I wasn't expecting this because it does my kitchen does smell a little bit like plastic. That could just be the other parts in the coffee machine. I I was gonna you know I was like okay this is not gonna be good, but I actually want to say that I might like the Michael Graves coffee a little bit better. So that's pretty surprising. I was not expecting that result. It's not bad. It's it's not bad at all. So. Um, I was prepared to say I'm not going to recommend it, but based on those test results, I mean, you really can't beat the design. It might not have optimal brewing temperature, but compared to other drip coffee makers, which are kind of known not to have the greatest results, I'm sure it's right in the line of other makers. I mean, it gets 3 out of 5, 3.5 out of 5 stars of good housekeeping, and the Hamilton Beach was a well-reviewed coffee machine that I got on Amazon, but... Uh, the design you really can't beat. It's unlike anything I think I've seen in a coffee maker. It's really cool. So uh, I do recommend the Michael Graves if you want to spend the money. Michael Graves design, 12 cup, programmable coffee maker. And uh, thanks for watching my videos. If you like my content, you can support it at patreon.com slash nine balls or just search Patreon for nine balls. And once again, I always appreciate uh, your support on Patreon. I really do. And uh, it's definitely growing there. So thank you, and until next time, I'll see you later.